Today, I'm going to explain how to connect VH80 to your mobile device via Bluetooth. Type VH80 in the App Store in order to find the application called VH80 Measure and Sketch. Please open the application once the installation is completed. First of all, press Accept for activating Bluetooth with your device. To connect your device with Bluetooth successfully, you must allow the app to access your location while in use. There are three main modes at VH80 MNS application. The first mode is measuring mode, which allows you to measure remotely with your connected VH80. Also, it allows the management of your measured data with convenience. The second mode is called sketch mode, that you can make a blueprint or floor plan on an empty sketch with measured data, or based on a photo of a field you took that measured through the application. Lastly, this is the mode called calculation mode. Calculation mode helps users to find out how many materials they need based on measurement values. And now we will be looking into each mode with more detail. Above all, we are going to connect VH80 and a smartphone. You can connect VH80 and a smart device in any mode. As for me, I'm going to select measuring mode. And I'll press the setting icon on the top right. This will lead to the Bluetooth connection tab. And please turn on the VH80 device. and press the Bluetooth connection tab where you will see the VH80 appeared. So, now VH80 and this smartphone will be connected once I press the VH80 tab that appeared. The Bluetooth logo will turn red when they have both been connected successfully. The only thing you need to be aware of at this stage is that the access location of the smart device is turned on correctly. If the access location of the smart device is turned off, VH80 will not be connected to smart devices. VH80 and the smartphone are connected via Bluetooth. And now I'll explain a little more about measuring mode. Once you access measuring mode, the screen of VH80 will change to app mode. Like I mentioned earlier, in the case of measuring remotely, Controls of VH80 will be much easier to use on smart devices such as changing directions of lasers, selecting functions, selecting units, etc. And now I'll turn on the laser with my smartphone. Once you turn on the laser button and select the direction, you can visually see the bilateral laser has appeared. As I will demonstrate, you can change the measuring direction easily. There are three options. First, a single laser that accounts for the device's length. Second, a bilateral laser. Lastly, a single laser without a lens. Next, I will select measuring functions such as distance, area, volume, area of a triangle, and Pythagoras. You can easily change and select different units. Once you have finished selecting your options, press measure at the bottom of the screen. After pressing the measurement button, your measurements will instantly appear under the measurements tab. In addition, all the measured values are going to be contained and managed through the list icon, which is located next to the setting icon. To view more details about your measurements, press the down arrow that will display left, right, and the total value of your measurements. Furthermore, the date of measurement will also be displayed to you. In order to edit the measurement title, press and hold the measurement value to access the pencil icon. Located at the top right corner, you can access the export icon. 
If you press the icon, you can export a certain value via email, messages, and other apps in Excel format, which can be useful for additional work. This is measuring mode. Next, I'll explain sketch mode. Now, I'll explain more about sketch mode. Sketch mode has a total of three functions. First, it lets you make a blueprint on a chosen photo that you took. Secondly, sketch mode takes a new picture that can be used as a blueprint by putting measurement values. Lastly, you can use an empty grid pattern for making your own sketch. The first function is use a photo. For example, I took this hallway photo a few days ago, which I imported. These measurements are linked in real time. As you can see here, left, right, and total value. You can draw a line to match the values onto the photo. Selecting the square icon allows you to map an area onto the photo. After mapping the area, you can add each value to the line segments. Once you have all the values, dragging and dropping them onto the photo will make a blueprint. Selecting the T icon will allow you to name the blueprint or put additional notes. This function helps you to easily create and manage your own blueprints with measurements. The second function of sketch mode is taking a photo to make a blueprint. To use this function, create a new sketch, then select take a new photo. Simply take a photo of what you want to measure. The photo will automatically go into sketch mode. Take your measurements. These values will automatically go into sketch mode for you to create a blueprint. Using the captured data from VH80, plot out the lines and values onto the photo. Lastly, let's look at the empty sketch function. You can make a floor plan by yourself with the empty sketch function. For example, I can create a floor plan of my house using squares. Once I have created my floor plan, I can add my measurement values to it. Selecting the T icon allows you to take notes of your measurements. This function can be used for all types of projects, such as DIY, real estate, interior, construction, etc. If you press the sharing icon on the top right, you can export data as a JPG, PDF, or Excel format. The final mode I will explain is calculation mode. 
When you enter calculation mode, you will see all the values you have measured. The feature of calculation mode is to calculate how many materials you'll need to fill the measured area. The measuring area is essential to use this mode. There are two ways you can use this mode. Firstly, you can use data that you've previously measured, or you can use the measuring icon to get new data. As demonstrated, the measuring is done. Then, if you press and hold the measuring button, you can adjust the direction of the lasers, functions, and units. Selected values will be shown automatically at the bottom of the screen. If you are using the values from the list without inputting any numbers, as an example, I'll use one of the listed values. So, the calculated total value of the area will appear at the top. Next, you can select among four different materials, paint, tile, wallpaper, and lumber. Selecting the paint option, you can choose between one to five coats of paint and based on your selection, VH80 app calculates and estimates how much paint you will need. Please keep in mind, this is only a reference and could be different from the actual required amount. Next, press Calculate to see the total amount of paint needed. The calculation estimates the selected area to be painted, along with how many times it will be painted. For this example, with two coats of paint. The automatic calculation will estimate how many gallons of paint you'll need to coat the selected area. Next, the tile option gives you a variety of sizes to choose from. If you want to use a customized size tile, you can input the measurements for automatic calculation. The calculation will show two results. The first is the number of tiles you will need to cover the measured area, along with the size of tiles selected. The second result is the recommended amount, as tiles may break or get damaged. As you can see here, you need 47.36 tiles to fill the covered area, but the application recommends 60 tiles. The third option is wallpaper, which you can select at three standard sizes or you can customize your own. The calculation shows you the number of rolls you will need if you have the size of wallpaper. The needed amount and recommended amount will be displayed. The recommended amount is due to the loss of wallpaper. The last option is lumber. There is no standard measurement for lumber. You will need to input the size of lumber that you will use. The image will adjust according to the size and measurement you input. In this example, I have selected a lumber size of 50 cm by 20 cm to cover the selected total area. The calculation shows the needed amount is 550 boards while the recommended amount is 551 boards due to any loss. And now the explanation and application of VH80 MNS is completed. We are very thankful for those people who have purchased our product and watched the video until the end. Thank you for watching.